with the help of the Almighty, I pray to the Almighty to bestow upon me his truth that I may convey his message. Uh, we are religious Jews, true to the Torah, and what people call human rights, we call godliness. God demands, God commands that one uh, must be compassionate. We say in the Jewish teaching in Hebrew, we say, Mahu rachum rachum. just as God is compassionate, you must be compassionate, you must emulate God. That's part of the basics of the Torah. So human rights, uh, to have, have compassion, to do good for a fellow human being, is all just part of the basics of the Torah. What is happening to the people of Palestine, the people of Gaza, flies in the face of all of this. And the Torah, us as Jews, who are true to our religion, true to our Jewish symbols, that what they... The name Israel was uh, our name, the name of the Jewish people. It means that we should not steal the land from the Palestinians, not subjugate them, not oppress them, not banish them from the lands. On the contrary, it means that we should embrace, uh, befriend, and respect their, uh, their sovereignty, their rule over the entire Palestine, as was the case uh, and the opinion of the Jews universally who are true to the Torah, and up until today, Jews who are true to the Torah universally, including in occupied Palestine, refuse to, uh, to give any legitimacy to the Zionist state of Israel, to the occupation of the land of Palestine, refuse to give up their identity. We refuse, uh, we say that our identity, the name Israel, their the Star of David and all has been hijacked from us, but we refuse to give it up. We must remember that he he's pleaded for Jerusalem after he saw that his first plea is being totally ignored, that they're going to make the Zionist state. Four months later, he saw that it's imminent in the, in the ratification by the UN of the state. He said, at least leave Jerusalem free to be a national zone where we are located, where it's the basics. Uh, Jewish people, true to the Torah, are forbidden, according to the teachings of the Torah, to have our own state, even one inch of sovereignty, simply, even if it would not, even if it would not in any manner affect another people, because we were sent into exile 2,000 years ago by the Almighty with the destruction of the Temple, and we wait and we yearn for the day when the Almighty will make a miracle, where all humanity will recognize one God, then we will all go up and serve Him. And so our being banished from the, from the Holy Land as a nation is what we accept, that it was a godly issue, that we were uh, uh, estranged, sent away from the Almighty's house, and the solution is not taking guns into the hands. It cannot be the solution. It's not our problem. We're not, we don't have a physical problem, basically. Our problem is being uh, estranged from the Almighty, so to say, and the solution is when God with his compassion, will make this miracle. All humanity will recognize one God. Then we will all return, and we will all serve God. That is what we wait and yearn for. And that can happen through the Almighty alone, without any human intervention. That has nothing to do with physical prowess. Judaism forbids us of rebelling against nations. We were put on the oath about this. We are forbidden to return as a nation in large numbers. We are forbidden we, to do anything to steal from other people. So in every facet, Zionism flies in the face of Judaism, it's forbidden, and universally, the Jewish people who are true to the Torah, invariably you'll find, the more the religious neighbor, they all oppose the existence of the state of Israel. And this is a book called The Rabbis Speak Out, where we compile universally all the rabbinical authorities for 130 years, their opposition to this concept of Zionism. There's one point that we have to stress, there would be tens of thousands more, and maybe hundreds of thousands more, if it wouldn't be for fear of the intimidation, the attacks of, of the Israelis, of the Zionists. Every time around the world we are intimidated and attacked. But in Palestine, occupied Palestine, you can see they're brutally beaten. Over a hundred years, since Zionism came up to the Holy Land, Jews have been opposing them, demonstrating, and were totally nonviolent, and yet we were brutally beaten and murdered, assassinated. All that it's about, because this is a rebellion against God. It's a rebellion in every facet. It's a heresy. It has nothing to do with the religion. They've simply stolen the name of religion to refer to this 
as a religious conflict in order to vilify anybody who opposes them as being anti-Semitic or self-hating Jews, uh, of, of vilifying the, the, the victims in Gaza and in Palestine, that when they're suffering so horrendously that the world will be silent, will be intimidated in silence, thinking that, oh, well, they hate another people. While in truth, the Arab and Muslim countries were the, the, the most gracious hosts and provided a safe haven for Jews hundreds and hundreds of years Throughout history, when there was the Inquisition, when there was the Crusades, and by the Second World War, Jews had a home and flourished in all the Arab and Muslim countries. Therefore, the uh, turning on its head and referring to these people as haters of Jews of, um, and that it's a religious conflict is, is so macabre, is so revolting, and is such a, a macabre, is such a tragedy that there's no words, our hearts around the world, from the Jewish people, we cry, we suffer, we are humiliated what is being done in our name. And as I say, we pray speedily that God should bring speedily and peacefully the end of this occupation, of this existence of the Zionist state of Israel. So once again, we can all embrace that we can serve God together soon in our days. Again, with the help of the Almighty, we always stress uh, that we're not prophets, um, Rabbi uh, Beck, my mentor, uh, always likes to say that we always have to uh, make a distinction between the facts that, firstly, Zionism does not represent Judaism. It, uh, it is a transformation from religion and subservience to the Almighty into uh, a base nationalism, a base materialistic concept and it's not a Jewish state, it's a Zionist state. It shouldn't be referred to as a Jewish state or, or the Jewish people around the world uh, in, uh, uh, that because they're Jewish they back it. We have to understand this, that it's really totally uh, against the teachings of the Torah, can never be acceptable according to the teachings of the Torah. It is forbidden, illegitimate. And that said, to the issues of how we can combat this, about how we can end this God help speedily and peacefully without any bloodshed. This whole issue is already a different issue because if we are wrong in certain ideas and approaches, people will think, will say that, well, then, then the whole issue, you may be wrong. So we have to first lay down the fact that uh, like when you go to a doctor, he has to know what the sickness is before he can provide a remedy. Now the remedy is a, a different issue. Well, with the help of the Almighty, we as Jews uh, try to abide by the Torah uh, perspective of the Torah teaching, we were in our ways, uh, that in our history of trials and tribulations, uh, we never were taught an approach of, um, of violence. And we, could, anybody could see that we went through many, many very, very hard times. And our approach was to pray to the Almighty, and we urge everybody, because ultimately people can do, but it's in the hands of the Almighty to accomplish, that the Almighty should, uh, everybody should fervently pray to the Almighty for an end of this occupation. And we say, according to the Torah, it says, why are you going against the words of God? It will not be successful. This is a, a statement in the Torah. So we know that the state of Israel cannot have a permanent future and a successful future and a peaceful future because it is a rebellion against God. And I think you see that for over 60 years. You don't go through 10 years that they have a peaceful existence. And they always, they looked at 48. They looked at 67, and every time they said, oh, miracles, and, and, and therefore now it's going to be peaceful, the two-state solution, all these, and they said, now you're going to see it's going to be peaceful, and it's going to be uh, a terrific ending, and in truth, we find that it was never like that. It's always further you're going into a depth, uh, into, in, into the abyss, and uh, there's never light at the end of the tunnel. The people are afraid to buy fruits going uh, to go to the market it may explode so we see that all the, that that it's it really flies in the face of logic why the refugee camps why the palestinian people have not simply assimilated into the world communities you see there's something here and we say it's because god does not la allow this rebellion against him this heresy called the zionist state of israel to exist and to have a, f a promising future so the we we definitely know that it will end. The question is how much bloodshed, how much suffering it will entail. So we do what we, what we try to do at least, what the Almighty 
uh, requires. First, we pray, we fast, we have days of fasting, and we go to synagogues, we give speeches, we teach our children that they should not support the Zionist state. We go and we try to make the world aware that they should not support this rebellion against God that is causing so much suffering and such, uh, so, such an illegitimate, flawed, and selfish state. Uh, we, we go and embrace the people of Palestine. We went to, uh, uh, to Gaza. We embraced um, the Hamas there, the leadership, the Prime Minister Ismail Khania. We brought medical aid to show, and they embraced us, and they say, and we went to Lebanon, we met, went to Sabra Shaktil, other camps, and so forth, and embrace always constantly the leaders of the world who are um, the Muslim and Arab leaders that they should feel, and the world should see that this is not a religious conflict, and the, mere, and the, the whole existence of the State of Israel is simply for, a, a, as I say, a political, nationalistic, flawed movement and it is not Judaism is a, a religion of thousands of years and Zionism is a mere hundred odd years it has nothing to do with the religion that people should understand and differentiate between these concepts and therefore the world should not be intimidated and not fearful to approach this Zionist state and, and try to understand it because as a whole you'll find in the Western world they, 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 they simply buy it that it's a religious conflict and they're afraid to, to tamper or to, uh, to, uh, to, uh, to in any manner interfere with its existence. But if the world would understand, Jews, Muslims, and Christians, Jews and Arabs have lived together for hundreds of years without any human rights groups to protect us. It wasn't necessary. And we flourished as a religious, distinctly, openly religious community and we distinctly different than the Muslim community, and we were able to coexist in harmonically in helping each other. So therefore, why must you uh, uh, um, introduce an, a, a, a problematic concept into this community that was so, so beautifully living together for hundreds of years, which is an agitating, uh, um, uh, uh, problematic uh, intro, uh, element that was introduced that's simply causing to, to explode. It's not you're going to, if you're going to remove Zionism, you're removing Judaism. You're removing some type of agitator which has come into this mixture that has simply created havoc and an endless river of bloodshed and uh, the greatest factory of exacerbating anti-Semitism around the world. Simply remove it, God help, speedily and peacefully, and we will have peace on the world. We will once again be able to serve God. And Jews are required to show their gratitude for the good done to them by this Arab and Muslim world that is out there. So God help that the world should recognize this, support immediately, and help and save the people of Gaza and Palestine and the Jewish people who are being uh, oppressed around the world by the Zionists and especially in occupied Palestine and remove this entity just as it was done in South Africa to the apartheid and other issues like that. And God help should be done soon nowadays and we'll have peace. God help soon.